Now, NBC5 first warning weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. Definitely sounds like a good time to start getting ahead. Well, I wouldn't even say it's getting ahead on the holiday shopping at this point. Yeah. I'm probably falling a little bit behind on my <laughs> shopping this year. I know. Christmas only a few weeks away, and yeah. there's less of a gap between Thanksgiving and Christmas you yep. were mentioning. So i got to get started, too. I have a gift swap coming up with some high school friends in a few weeks. Oh, so. very exciting. Have you written your uh, list to Santa yet? <laughs> um, yet to do that. Still on my to-do list. All right. Well, so. we'll have to get our lists out soon, so we make sure we get our presents yeah. under the Christmas tree. Good reminder, Anna. <laughs> well, here is the, the call for today. It's a, a chilly Saturday. We've got more of the same, basically, for the foreseeable future. Feeling like winter as we enter the holiday season here. It's a great look to the sky today as well. Mainly cloudy. A few snow showers as well, especially for the mountain towns and particularly northern areas. But the call the next 12 hours in the Champlain Valley as temperatures only making it to the mid to upper 30s. So here's our overall upper air pattern. Basically this weekend through next weekend, we have this big upper level trough across eastern Canada and the northeastern U.S. So that's a chilly setup. And as a result, temperature is cooler than average. We have a chilly feel basically the next seven to 10 days or so all across our region and especially north of our region. So our temperature trend, here's how it looks. The average high for the Champlain Valley is 40, and we're below that this weekend all the way through mid parts of the work week. Temperatures consistently uh, in the 30s for highs as we move forward. So here's Storm Tracker. We have an area of low pressure up by Hudson Bay that's uh, introducing a chilly northwest wind, which is flowing over the relatively warm waters of the Great Lakes. The Great Lakes are warmer than average for this time of year. As a result, the uh, warm or the mild, moist, layer of air that's right above the Great Lakes is less dense than the cold air that's coming on top of it. So that moist air rises, it condenses, and then we get some bands of lake effect snow. And that's the setup we're looking at this weekend into uh, early parts of the work week as well. Storm Tracker for now has widespread cloud cover, a persistent band of moderate to heavy snow just south of Watertown, New York. Uh, extending off to the east, just south of St. Lawrence County at this point. A few flurries for the Adirondacks, northern Green Mountains right now, but nothing significant. Temperature-wise, the spread is anywhere from the low 20s to low 30s, so a chilly start first thing on this Saturday. And by late morning, we have some breaks of sun south and east, lots of clouds north, a few snow showers for the Adirondacks, northern Green Mountains as well. This afternoon, mostly cloudy. And a few passing snow showers, especially near the mountains overnight tonight, clouds, a few random passing snow showers. And for tomorrow, it's another mostly cloudy day. And uh, we will be watching this persistent band of lake effect snow just keeps on going from Watertown to southern St. Lawrence County. A few passing snow showers for the mountains as well. And then by Monday, looks to be a drier day overall, mostly cloudy, perhaps an isolated snow shower in the mountains. So here's a look at our snow forecast. Running the clock through Monday morning, it's going to be dumping near Watertown into southern St. Lawrence County. Two to five foot potential of accumulation. Amounts are less as you head into the Adirondacks, but still a few inches for the Saranac Lake area. Could be over four inches for the high peaks. The Northern Green Mountains, Jay Peak area could have a few inches and then a light accumulation for high terrain parts of the Northeast Kingdom. And for places like Killington and Stratton could be a couple inches by Monday. So the extended forecast has generally lots of clouds, some sun, a few snow showers, especially near the mountains through mid parts of the week. Temperatures in the 30s. A period of steady snow is possible late Wednesday into Thursday. Could bring some slick travel. We'll continue to monitor and have updates. Anna.